Hi, everybody. I am Beth, and I go to the Ross campus and usually help out in the 9 a.m. service in the Grow Zone. This is my daughter, Winnie. Hi. She goes to Morgan Elementary School and will be in third grade next year. We're here to introduce today's Bible story, which is about Jesus being a good shepherd. Today's Bible story comes from the book of John in the 10th chapter, and it got me thinking. In the times of the Bible, in Jesus's time, it would have made sense to refer to Jesus as a good shepherd because people then knew what good shepherds did. But in 2020, do you know anyone who's a shepherd? No. Me either. So what does it mean to be a shepherd? I think that's something we should try and understand. So I thought maybe I would ask Winnie and see if she has any idea what a shepherd does. Well, they usually herd their animals from one place to another. Okay, so that's a good start about what shepherds do. In fact, Winnie, you have an idea what it is to shepherd an animal from one place to another, don't you? Winnie has some ducks, and he, I took a little video for you to watch of she and her dad shepherding the ducks from their duck house out to our pond. Wasn't that cute? But moving animals from place to place isn't the only thing a shepherd did. A shepherd was in charge of every part of a sheep's well-being. So where they were in terms of could they get food, water, were they safe from predators? Did they get lost or not? A shepherd had to be in charge of all of those things. And one thing that the sheep knew for sure is that the shepherd would take care of them. So if a sheep would get lost, the shepherd would leave the sheep there, the rest of the herd, and go find the lost one and bring it back because those sheep meant everything to that shepherd. In all of those ways, Jesus is the good shepherd in our lives. Jesus takes care of us. He knows us and he wants what's best for us. In John chapter 10, verse 14, Jesus says, I am the good shepherd. I know my sheep and my sheep know me. So Jesus takes care of us by knowing us. He knows our hearts. He knows everything about us. Isn't it wonderful to be known by God, the same God who created everything you see around you, all the trees and plants and flowers, that same God? created you and knows you. Isn't that amazing? And God wants us to know him too. So he gives us tools like the Bible. We can read the Bible to listen to him and what he wants for us. We can learn to listen to his voice in the songs that we sing in church or at home during quarantine. We can learn to listen to him through the voices of people who speak his word into our lives, other grown-ups or our friends, who can help us learn more and more about God. So I hope that you will stay tuned and enjoy today's Bible story, Jesus is the Good Shepherd, and I hope you will learn more about what that means and about how we can listen to his voice. I encourage you to press pause when it asks you to at the end of the Bible story video and really talk with your mom or dad or whoever's there with you about what it might mean to listen to the voice of God in your life. I miss you guys, and I can't wait to see you in person again. And until then, I know that Jesus, the Good Shepherd, is looking out for you. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Journey Today show. I am Jeremy. And I'm Jennifer. It's so good to be here. I mean, I'm excited because, like, we started it last week. We were talking about... Some of Jesus' teachings were like these, like one sentence statements to his friends and to his followers that like definitely today, but I'm guessing even back then would have made them go like, like, what? Yeah, what was that like? Like, what? 
And so speaking of which, we're looking at one today. What is our big idea? Today's big idea is Jesus is the good shepherd, so we should listen to his voice and follow him. So, Jen, my assumption is that Jesus was talking to a group of people that actually shepherding would have made a lot of sense to, whereas it doesn't make as much sense to you and me. And I don't, are, do you think any of them are shepherds? Are you? But what we know is sheep are not really smart. They need protected. They don't do what they're supposed to. But a shepherd really does love and care for them, and they will follow them. And so I think that's what Jesus is teaching you and me, is that when we follow him, we really know his voice. And so it's important for us to do things to make sure that we know and understand Jesus' voice. And speaking of which, I have a pretty odd and uncomfortable challenge for today. Are you in? I'm in. Let's do this. Jennifer, what? you don't even look like a sheep. What is that? Okay, here's the challenge. I'm the good shepherd, oh, and that is the stranger. So what our contestants have to do is they have to find the voice of the good shepherd and obey. If they have a challenge, they have to do it. If it's from the good shepherd, they get a point. If it's from the stranger and they act out on it, it's minus a point. And in the end, we'll see who wins. Are we ready? Okay, here we go. Grab a Nuna card. Pet a monkey. Hop on one foot. Stop. That is minus one. That was minus one. Very good. Okay, you can stop hopping. Lick your elbow. Her sheep got that one first. Stroke an imaginary beard. High five someone. Do a little dance. Hop on one foot. All right, that's good. Do we have a winner? I think the winner is our monkey sheep. <laughs> Meep. That was maybe not our most ridiculous challenge. <laughs> oh boy. But you know, it really made me think about what kind of things I should be doing to really hear Jesus's voice better? Yeah, like all of us have the opportunity to hear like Jesus. And then a lot of us have like these voices of doubt and these voices of fear where we'll hear stuff like we're not good enough or we're not okay. And really learning to hear Jesus is such an awesome thing about following him. And so there's a lot of things that we can do. Like, you know, I, I read God's word every morning and it helps me hear, but there are things that we can do to, to hear Jesus more. Exactly. And that's one of our discussion questions for you today. What can you be doing to hear God's voice? Press, Press pause. pause and discuss. discuss. All right, great question. I have a follow-up to that. I spoke about it just a second. Like, how can we know if maybe that voice we hear inside of us is not Jesus? Like, it's hurtful or, or harmful. Mm. Mm. How can we know that? Press pause. And discuss. Great discussion. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next week. Woo! Oh, yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> nice. Bye. Bye.